are you finding it hard to keep on track with things and you set yourself intentions and goals, yet you, you can't seem to keep up with it? Well, I want to talk to you about the power of accountability because I have an accountability partner, I have an accountability group, and I just want to talk to you about this and how it can build you progress in areas and confidence. And if you stay until the end, I have an extra point for you then. Now, I've so many times I just try to stick to something myself. It's like, I want to hit that body shape, that six pack, that eight pack or whatever. And I just hold myself it. And I've not done it. I've started going back to eating rubbish or not working out. Or I've been like, I want to get, I want to get like that beautiful, amazing girlfriend or like that as the intention. And I just like maybe read a couple, a couple, a couple of chapters on a dating book and done nothing with it. Or I'm like, I want to make a load of money. And then I've like, you know, looked up one or two sort of sales ways or marketing ways, and then I've just like not done anything about it. For me, where I've made the change and personally found the change is when I've had accountability partners and accountability groups. I'm actually running a, a small transformation at the moment for a good bunch of people, and I'm able to guide them through the process as well. What I found is when you're around people or even one person who are going to challenge you, hold you to standards, and keep you accountable you're much likely to be more consistent because we're more likely to be consistent with our word to others than to ourselves. It's just a weird way we work, right? <laughs> How many times have you like, and you know, if you don't keep your word to others, obviously they lose trust in you. When you lose, when you don't keep your word to yourself, you do lose trust in you, but you don't want to, you know, you can hide that away from other people. So when I did my recent 75 hard challenge, which was like a challenge where if you don't know it, you have to do like two lots of 45 minute exercise a day. Don't have to be always intense, uh, you know, drinking a, a large amount of water each day. Listening to the personal growth is pretty easy for me because I like it. Um, and then eating a certain diet, no alcohol, things like that. I was posting on social media every single day, like I've done this, this, and this. And actually, I kept sharing my uh, body transformation, which people got a bit uh, tired of, I think. But it was showing that I was actually staying on course with what I said I was going to do. And I hit that 75 days. And I'm doing that with a group now. So I just want to ask you this, and we're going to some points on how you can do this and start to get this actually applicable into your life. So therefore you can grow, build progress, momentum, and therefore confidence in yourself. But I want to ask you this, how, how does it help you by just saying you're going to do the same things again and again, telling yourself and not sticking to it? It's probably a dent in confidence if you're anything like me, because it's happened so many times in my life. So let's go into some points for you then and keep it super simple as I always like to do. First one, I want you to establish a, a, a accountability partner or a small group, at least one person, like one person you need, obviously, minimum for this. And it's got to be someone who's who's going to be like trustworthy, who wants to achieve things. Make sure you don't just get someone who's like, rah, rah, I'm excited, and they fall off for a few after a few days. I have a really good mate. Uh, I have like who's really good at being enthusiastic and living in the moment and encouraging. And I used to like get on board with things with him. And he, he was just terrible at sticking to things over five days. He's a, but then he'd be up and going. He's, he's always a positive person, such, but he just couldn't be consistent. And I can see it's why he's never really grown a business. And no disrespect to him, he's a great man. He's kind of a very in the moment and travel kind of guy. Um, kind of just lives off various things but it's like if you need to pick someone who's going to be consistent and they've got a, a certain mission they're going to be sticking to something as well so and then i've got another friend i i work with very closely nick on on this and he's really really good he stick he's he holds me accountable he sticks to things so pick someone you know is going to stick to it and they're going to hold you accountable the second one be very clear on the guidelines. Be clear, make them very simple though. Be very, very clear on what you're going to achieve every single day, every single week. And you can re we, you can revise it at the end of each week. That's what I like to do, but just be really, really clear. So if you're going to have X amount of alcoholic drinks a week, or maybe it's even none, but it, be realistic with yourself, be sustainable. Maybe you're going to have a certain amount of treats or a diet you're going to follow. Maybe you're going to do a certain amount of business generating activities each week, like reaching out to people. Um, maybe you're going to read a certain amount of pages a week. Just make sure. 
I had something in my door then. Make sure you've got something that's sustainable and very, very clear. So there's no like guessing. There's no kind of getting away from it. So that's the second point. Be very, very clear. And then the third one is praise and reward. Make sure you're praising yourself regularly. I always encourage my groups I run and my accountability partner to be praising. And then make sure you reward yourself. So at the end of the week, if you if you complete all your actions, maybe like I like to buy myself a coffee um an extra coffee out of my budget i usually stick to a certain budget and then i'll outside of that budget i'll buy myself a large coffee from the uh the cost of coffee next door so make sure you do that because it tells your nervous system to do more of it okay so here's my bonus point for you as well and this is something that i i always go on about very regularly on this podcast and i've spoke about a lot with uh guest episodes hire yourself a coach and or mentor um, and why do you want to do that? Because when you invest into something, you're more likely to stick into it anyway. And these experts are there to keep you accountable. They're not just like a friend who's doing it for free. They're more likely to keep you accountable, right? Uh, and if they're not, they're probably not a good fit for you. So make sure you hire a coach or mentor who's going to keep you accountable as well, because they'll really get your results. And if they're a mentor, they can give you specific expertise for you to get closer to your goal quicker as well. So that's what I've got for you today. I appreciate you for being here. You improve other people's lives by being the best you. And remember, you are in control of your own self-esteem and confidence.